Essentially, Frank and Amy have been giants in, in our community. Millions of tiny, behind the scenes ways that he makes justice happen. I think the, the commitment to justice stems from a, a number of conversations, and as Amy said, a lot of those were family conversations that involved our children, mm -hmm. that ultimately came back to, you know, what is fundamental fairness? When we were invited to a dinner party at a friend's house and Michelle Johnson was there. We followed up after that dinner and the more time I spent with Michelle, the more uh, I became uh, uh, drawn to what they were trying to do. I became really aware of this when I was 25 and was widowed and for the first time tried to get health insurance as a diabetic and no one would cover me. Frank and Amy have kind of taken me under their wing and the Tennessee Justice Center under their wing. You know, they first funded um, a lawyer. We, you know, we had a hard time getting brand new lawyers. In the beginning, uh, Michelle wanted to have a Warfield Scholar and pay to have a, a young lawyer at TJC. And we put up money for a match, uh, you know, put up half the money for the first year and said we'd match. I had so much respect for Charlie Warfield and the fact that it was being named uh, after him and it was TJC was sort of an irresistible, an irresistible thing for us. Frank and Amy's investment in the Warfield Fellowship was transformative for our organization. During the chaos right before the pandemic, um, at a time where now we know Frank actually had COVID, um, he called me to say, you know, we're, you need to not give up on having a permanent home. He was in New York and he said, I'm gonna help you do this. The community responded so well. I was really I was really moved by how well the community responded because we raised a significant amount of money in about eight weeks, enough to uh, buy that building and then continued to raise money after that for the renovation, but it was, the community response was tremendous. We get to celebrate um, someone like Judge Dinkins who provided our first home and uh, we're so grateful to the Garrisons and, and others who are now helping us go to this next chapter with, with a new permanent home. He and Amy are very generous, but they don't invest unless it's a project that is going to have a huge impact. And so their vouching for us made all the difference in the world and we will have a permanent home um, after 25 years and it would not, could not happen without Frank and Amy. The people that deserve the credit, though, and what and what motivated us to to you know to do this, is the it's the staff. It's the staff primarily, uh, and of course the donors that have been there consistently for 25 years. But watching the staff, that's the hardest working group of people that I've ever seen at any uh, NGO uh, or not for profit. I'm just I'm so moved by how hard they work. So I feel like what we do is it just pales in comparison to what that staff does.